Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Dragon Nest 2 Evolution on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Dragon Nest 2 Evolution and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen, thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Dragon Nest 2 Evolution. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all mates, to start we need to launch our favorite internet browser. We selected the one we used by default. Let's go to that URL I have highlighted in green color. Now, you can discover on the screen of the PC. There is no need to type it, simply because there's the link in the video description and the first pinned comment. We landed right here on the internet site of Usatility, at which we have a precise information on the way to download and install Dragon Nest 2 Evolution on laptop or computer. We scroll down a little bit and just click on the Download Game on PC button. Once we click on the link, we get to the site of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we will use to get access to that game Dragon Nest 2 Evolution on our PC. It is now obvious that we access several advantages of using that emulator. Now we will start downloading the Dragon Nest 2 Evolution by simply clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can visualize here in green color. We then click on that button and the download action takes no time at all. Voila! Here is located the download. It's a file we have to execute. The following step is to run the executable file, OK, then we need to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make modifications to the system. We clicked yes. I minimize the browser to find the installation software better. The installer is really easy to understand. It contains two choices, install and setup path. I am going to describe what Setup Path truly does. We purely simply click on it, and we observe that we have now here the path where the emulator is going to be installed. If we choose to change for better this folder we have got to click on that, Browse, button. So we choose another directory and install the emulator specifically where we want. I am going to set it as it is. Then, I click on Back, and I simply click on Install. Now, there it is. The installation begins and it's going to go forward in the download of these MB which are shown on our screen. The moment you save it on your machine, it may be a little bit more or less megabytes. The download speed might go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, depending on your type of connection and according to the efficiency of the emulator hosting servers. Today they are working really fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. Now, the emulator has been started immediately. As you can see, down here, there's a progress bar which will fill up and when it actually reaches the finish, the emulator can be started for the first time. In reality, the emulator was already started, here for the first time. Before we continue, as you can observe, it has made two software icons here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is definitely the only one we're concerned about. Whenever we need to start Dragon Nest 2 Evolution on our PC, we double mouse click on this icon and consequently use the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let's perform the following step, which is actually a requirement, and that is to begin browsing the Google Play Store. And we'll simply click on Play Store. As you can discover the Google Play is launched. Right here we must log on. At this moment as soon as we're right here, we must definitely do this following step that is imperative. So we mouse click on, sign in. Now it says, checking info. It could in some cases get blocked in, checking info, and it isn't going to advance. If so, you could attempt to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it will very likely be solved. Now we will insert our email and password. The email needs to be a Gmail email address as well as its associated password. As an example you make use of the same email you're using currently in your YouTube account. So I am going to type in my data and I will revisit after I have done it. That's it. Details typed in. And here is Google welcoming us and presenting us the twos. 
we should approve them all by just clicking on, I agree. Next, it offers us to save to the Google Cloud. You might let it check it's going to make a backup of your data files on this device to Google Drive. I am not going to check it, you can utilize this option if you want. We just click on accept. Google Play is launched automatically and immediately. To set up the game, we must get to the Android emulator desktop by double-clicking on that icon indicated green colored. Now that we are watching the desktop of this Android emulator, we can see that we have right here the install app option. We click or double-click on that button. Here we get the game app. Let's quickly then click now on the install button that I am just presenting now in green color. And it will begin the software installation. At this time it is going to download and install the Android game. It normally takes quite some time or it may possibly be very fast. It all depends on our own internet connection. It has as of now ended setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by hitting this particular option that I'm highlighting in green, so that you can use Dragon Nest 2 Evolution for the first time. We are by now on the emulator desktop, and therefore we are on the way to click on that brand new Dragon Nest 2 Evolution app icon that was provided. The video game is started for the first time. So there we have it. I could press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will comment on the volume level of this emulator. It's here. We have got the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume. This manner we do not depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of the emulator. And to enjoy the experience to the maximum, we should switch on the big screen, for which we have two choices. This is the first one. We simply click on this particular icon which I am indeed identifying in green color. And the screen is maximized, coming with one border on top, one on the right side and the third one at the bottom. In case we really want to experience the app using all the screen, we select this particular application icon. And we might at present be experiencing the Android game in full screen setting. To quit the 100% screen functionality, hit the F11 key. And we might at present end up being in regular screen setting. Now I am starting to present you the keys mapping that is quite enjoyable. That step we definitely will be able to operate the game more easily. The first thing is to click this app icon. And there you will be able to get the appropriate controls. I am going to put the standard settings, though if you need to change this, you may well do it without any problem. As you can see, the emulator is totally in our own language. In some cases it occurs that the emulator is started in the erroneous language, for instance, in Mandarin. And consequently to set it in the proper language we browse here to the cogwheel. And here inside of various other controls, we click on the language drop down. We can easily go with the language we prefer, German, Mandarin, and so forth. Once the language is determined, we would save, the emulator would restart, and the video game, next time we start it, would as well be in the picked language. At this moment, there's another element that we need to take into consideration, and it is that we will get a message from Google Mail telling that a completely new device has been connected with this Google account. It will ask us if we are the individuals who have connected that device. Yup, we must not be troubled, as the emulator is emulating in Google Android tablet or smartphone. And to discover which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we go here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. And we go here to the, model, choice. And there we learn that the emulator is simulating a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for that video tutorial. I sincerely hope you liked it, specifically that everyone thought it was informative. If that is so, give it a superb like, subscribe to the channel, and if you have feedback, questions or suggestions, put them in the comment field down below. Click on any of those online videos which are usually appearing on the computer screen and see you in the future videos. Bye.